Alright, hey, this is Super Ninja Man with Dinosaur with Robot.i.com. And today I'm going to be showing you just basic box modeling. We're going to make a super low poly sword and making a cube uh, from a cube and if I haven't taken up too much time, I will then, you know, UV it and you know do that. Alright, um so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the cube. It's always good to start with an idea in your head. Um, I currently don't have one, so I'm going to wing it, but when you are doing this for real, I suggest not doing it how I'm going. Alright, so what I'm, gonna, what I'm doing is, um, right now I'm making the handle, and handles aren't cuboidal, they're more rectangular. And so we're going to scale this down along the Y radius, which is a, isn't a feature I've noticed a lot of people knowing how to use. But that's what you want to do. Um, that way you don't you know, ruin your length on your Y. Then we're going to extrude these along their normals, or, yeah. And then, because that's going to be the, um, the cross guard and then the butt. So, what we're going to do is, let's focus on the butt right now. Um, I don't want to be a cube. Well, actually, I don't want to be bad as a cube. Yeah, what we're going to do is let's extrude these along at the no their normals. Whoa, I did not realize I had them select like that. Okay, let's make sure. Yeah, okay. We're gonna extrude these along their normals. Uh, usually when you're modeling, you don't want to be in, well, I mean, you can be in this view, it'll be fun, especially in this. Um, in the next tutorial, it will be different, but I'll, I'll explain why and how. Okay, and then, Let's make the handle a little higher detail. So we're gonna extrude these, these. We're gonna extrude these. We're gonna extrude these faces along the normal, a little inward. Um, not too much. Just uh, yeah, that's good. Um, then we're going to give them a little more, or make them a little more HD. So select these. Uh, hit L for loop. Cut into two, and that'll effectively double the amount of polys in your model. And select these outer vertices. That way you have a better, you know, like it would be connected like that. Alright, and then we'll select these guys right here on the outer edge. Then we're gonna scale this radial watt. No, no, that that was stupid, sorry. It didn't do anything anyway. So we're gonna move normal. And you could have a perfectly round Actually, perfectly round is probably what you want to go with. It's actually very strange that that made it perfectly round. That shouldn't have. Well, I guess just got lucky. All right. Um, cut this into two or three. I'm gonna do three. Um, G, G. Uh, I don't recall what the um, that would be called. Scale radial Y because they weren't, you know perfectly cylindrical. They had, uh, they were kind of bloated. Let's see. Yeah, see, that looks fine. Um, what I, what I do, like, as you saw, I block out the detail, and then I add detail to it later. Um, which is, you know, I'm pretty sure is, like, the most accepted manner of doing it. Okay, on this, we're gonna cut the two edges in the middle into three. And you'll see in a minute why. Um, or actually, in the immediate why. And then cut all these four into two. Well, nah, that was stupid. Cut these, the far two that you created with that, into two. And then, so we're going to try to save on polys. We're going to scale this, scale these uniform, because they're all only on that one vertice anyway, so. And then make the uh, cross section what you want your blade to look like. This is actually pretty thin. For freaking fat, I made the handle. Maybe I just have a really fat handle. <laughs> Scale radial X. Okay. Then select only the ones that make up the edge. We'll scale that uniform out. Yeah. I I probably should have been. You know, I had an image in my head. Yours will probably, hopefully, look better. Because mine is looking like crap. Why is there... do you see that? How is that happening? <laughs> what? 
It's some wizard shit. Okay. Now it's back to normal. Um, I'll move this up along the Y. Till I get a point that I'm happy with. That's good enough. I'm gonna extrude this up along the Y. I don't even know what that looks like. It looks like a low poly crappy sword to me. Um, move it up along the Y a little bit further. Uh, <laughs> this is awful. Alright, so I'm gonna select these vertices. I'm gonna scale, uh, right click, scale uniform, and then right click it again so you can choose what point it'll scale to. That way you don't change the length of the sword, but you have the sword uh, taper still. Um, and basically, we have the entire sword laid out right here. Um, you generally, like, see how it's like that? You don't want it like that. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, it's fine. If I were going to fix that, which I might as well, right? Connect these. This is just kind of lazily blocking out this. Then we'll select, then we'll connect these guys through that. Then weld these guys down. You can, I'm pretty sure you just delete it and it'd be fine, but weld seems to uh, produce less artifacts when you use, or it doesn't produce any artifacts when you use it, but sometimes when you use the normal one, it will produce artifacts. And that is not something you want to do. Um, actually, let's cut this guy into these edges into two as well. I think I may be doing something very stupid at the moment. That's weird looking. Ah, that's weird. I wonder why it looks like that. Because it looks like it's concave, but in that mode, there should be no reason for it being concave. Whoa. I have no idea what just happened. Is that a thing I can do? Uh, I had thought I understood what happened, but then I didn't. <laughs> so I had a little confusion there. Um, do want Actually, let's scale this uniform. That way we don't have a completely pointed blade. It's actually rounded for cutting rather than just jabbing and stabbing. Uh, I can't figure out what's going on here. Um, oh, I see. Because um, the way the planes are, because the way I constructed it, like kind of as an afterthought, it's can't figure out which direction is the true direction. That's why it's looking weird. Like I, I don't know if what I said made sense to people, but it made sense to me. Let's see. Um, see how that looks. Let's hope. Hopefully, it'll look better than the last guy did. Yeah, see, that looks better. I and mean, still, you know, fairly low poly. Um, which is a term I use a lot in these tutorials. Fairly low poly. I don't even know what that means. I think it's because I don't want someone arguing with me, saying that my whatever I'm doing isn't low poly. Um, but yeah. Um. Alright, so I'm gonna harden these edges as well. Alright, and then we got a super basic sword. Um, let's go ahead and use how we cylindrified this guy on this guy. And we're going to make a half circle out of it, if I can figure out how to do that in my head. In time. Not a half circle. Uh, a, um, like a partial dome. If that makes sense. I okay, yeah, no dome. That's the word for it. Uh a semi sphere. Whoa, that was cool. Um what's going on? Okay. It's cause they aren't connected yet. Okay. <laughs> so that's a circle. Um Let's delete this. Whoa, not cut into four. Whoa, I don't even know how I hit four instead of delete. <laughs> that was uh mildly impressive. My fax machine's picking noises. I got a fax machine next to my desk. How professional is that, yo? I remove this down along the Y a little. Not that much, probably. Um, probably be viewing this from the side at this point. Okay. This along the Y. Um,
I'm actually awful at coming up with designs on the spot. I um I prefer using photo references, um, so um 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 Sorry, I realized how often I said um in that sentence and it started bothering me. <laughs> um oh, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Anyway. So if you're if you wanna have like a reference ready that's that's cool. Uh, as you can see, without references, shit gets weird real quick. It's like the inverse of that. Get back here. Nope. Pretty nice soft. All right. Um. I can't tell why I dislike this word so much. It's coming out pretty okay, but I just. It feels wrong to me. Um. Do I actually. Let's. Cut these bitches into two. Connect them through that. Hopefully, with any luck, it'll realize that I want it. Okay. Delete that. Loop. Select these two. Scale axis along. Oh, scale axis along. See, actually, they look pretty cool. <laughs> okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, as you can see, this one isn't. You want to get it as approximate as you can. That is probably as close as we're going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and flatten along the Z. I believe Z, right? Yeah. Right click. Flatten along the Z. Um, this has the, if you don't have it as close as possible, it'll have the chance of ruining your, not your mesh flow, but your, um, just your junk. I can't remember what word I'm trying to use here. Um, it has a tendency to ruin your symmetry and symmetry looks nice so we want to keep that as often as possible okay let's get these guys in let's extrude this along the normal if you uh, select a uh, thing you already have selected like if you're on faces and you select face It'll select all the all the touching faces for every face you have selected, so like that, which is extremely useful if you need to select an area just slightly larger of what you already have. Um, like if you did that and then you click that. Really that big. Um, move along the Z. What was that? Damn it. Uh, Point zero nine or some BS like that. Oh. Point zero nine looks proper. All right, so we're gonna auto smooth this. Just see how the system thinks it should be. See, we have a pretty basic sword. Um, we're gonna add a little more detail. I'm gonna loop. Select these two. Scale axial down along the Y. That way it has a little more interest. Um, I don't like the way that looks because it gets fat. I mean, it's fat and then it goes skinny and then it gets fat and then it gets. I don't know. It just looks weird to me. Um, however, it's passable. And it doesn't make any of my edges hard on that, so that means that's close enough that it doesn't bother the thing. Okay, we don't want these two to be selected. Don't want these two to be selected. Don't want that guy to be selected either. Hardness hard. And there we go, we made a very simple box modeled sword. Um so that's how you box model something basic like swords or shields are a little more difficult. In my mind it goes swords, shields, helmets, 
full armor. So actually, I can make a full armor better than I make a helmet. Because I don't know why. Um, but yeah, helmets, full armor is, you know, traditional organic, soft um, surface modeling. I'm good at hard surface modeling, or I'm okay at it. And so it doesn't bother me too much, but things like, like if I had to model a person, I would sort of die. Yeah, I'm just going to add a few more details, because I can. I have the, I don't know how many faces are on this, but I'm assuming I have the, let's make sure that that doesn't do something stupid. It did do something stupid. Terrific. Um, Alright, so. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go over here. Loop. I said, oh, dang it. Yeah, I quartered it. I'm going to loop. Scale uniform. Actually, let's G2 connect. G move normal. Not that far, but a little. Point zero zero five. All right. Oh well, actually, do I? I don't even move this down along the Y. Man, I can't even tell. One second, X. If you down along the Y, no, not the Z. Move along the Y. Is that right? Cause that appears to be right on it. Yeesh. That's. <laughs> That's not much of a difference, or not big enough of a difference for me to to create that. That'd be good enough to use to use some of my polygons on. So I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. Yeah, you'll notice on some of my details they're exaggerated. That's because if it's not, I don't feel that I should spin polys on it. And there's that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's fine. The blade is ugly, but hmm. Well, let's. I don't know if they actually did this, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna extrude this along the Y. I'm gonna turn this bottom part into a little bit of leather, like a um, you'll see on a claymore or something of that sort. Okay, and this should be perfectly cylindrical because we just extruded extruded along the Y, so we can trust it to not get screwed up when we do something. We're gonna do is we're gonna do that. We're gonna cut these guys into two. Okay, then we're gonna do this bit again like we did with the when we extended the po or added polys to the um everything else. <laughs> Alright, then we're going to round this out right here. Okay. Loop. I said a loop. Ah, freaking crap. Thanks. All right. And we're gonna hardness hard. X out. We're gonna hardness soft. And this is just you know some. Right there, look really crazy. Cause those aren't edges aren't hard. Hard. Um, yeah, that was just some adding little details. Like, I mean, that's not a little detail. It's obviously quite large. But de adding details like that adds to the overall model in a way that, um, you know, not having them, it just makes it look better. And with under 300 polygons, you I mean you have a lot of wiggle room. Yeah, 312 polygons uh, in game ready form. So, yeah, I mean, you still have quite a bit of room. You could. Uh, yeah. Um, there's still quite a bit you can do. And this tutorial's only about, been about 20 minutes. Um, so, that's already kind of long. So, I don't want to keep you for too much longer. Um, I really want to redo this blade, though. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the blade itself. Okay, do you want it? Whatever. It's fun. 
it's fine. There, we made a traditional double-edged European broadsword style thing with little fancy detailing, and it came out fine. And we made it out of a cube. That was birthed from this. Look at that. Not not similar whatsoever. And you can make literally anything from a box. Um, it's not difficult. I mean, as you saw, I made this sword pretty quickly. Just blo block it out, sharpen it, go from there. Um, yeah, just experiment. I didn't show too many tools in this one. Uh, I just, you know, the traditional move. I mean, you ex uh, just, when you're cube modeling or box modeling, whatever you want to call it, focus on extrude and yeah, that's pretty much what you need to focus on. Um, you can also do scaling and just moving along, along things. Swords are easy since they fall pretty much on their axis since they're pretty symmetrical, um, which is why, you know, they're great for beginners um, and people like me who aren't very good even though they've been doing it for years <laughs> and next tutorial I will cover we will remake the first model I ever made it'll be exciting alright this was Super Ninja Man and I hope